What is this thing? It feels like Christmas over here. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Classic movie, classic movie. Okay, TikTok, Instagram, you did it again. I found so many different gift ideas in a bunch of different um, price categories, and I figured we'd test them out together and just see what I think is actually worth buying. Because sometimes you find things and you're just like, is that gonna be actually that good. Like, is it that good? We need to know. This is why we're here. And if you missed it last week, I did a whole gift guide of things that I actually think are worth it. And they're all off Amazon. So you can go check that out. And so I have three different present categories that I figured would just make it a little bit easier when you're shopping or if you have like a specific budget. So we have under 25, 25 to 50 and 50 to 100. I figured that'd be like a good range to work with. And we're going to start with the most expensive it and work our way down. And only because I have a candle that I want to test out and it kind of needs some time to, you know, Marinate, you know what I mean? Marin marinate. And the candle isn't so much a candle as it's a system. And it's a really cool idea. It's called Notes Candle Refill System. Basically the premise behind it is that you have sort of the, the glass container for the candle and then you refill it with these like candle pebbles, the best way I can explain it. And then you can just buy the refills instead of continuing to buy these like containers over and over again. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then I bought two different scents that I thought I might like, but you can kind of pick and choose and create your own set, which I think is a really cool idea. So the two scents that I got, one is Santel and Atlas Cedar. And then the other one is Oat Milk and Balsam Berry. I figured we could pick ones that are fairly different from each other. They smell amazing though. It has a little thing on the bottom here to scan and figure out how it works. So let's do that first. How to set up your candle. Here we go. They have all these like notes and like things you need to do. I love it. Okay, so this is where our little silicone thing comes in handy. Which one do we want to use first? I'm leaning towards the Santal because I love Santal, but like, one smells very Christmassy. Stop, that smells amazing. In a move that no one saw coming, I actually want to do the balsam berry one. <laughs> Just because it smells like Christmas. So in here we have, oh, there it is. There should be a little wick that comes with your refill. So you take that and you insert it through the bottom of the little silicone thing and then place it into the notes jar. Ta-da. All right, it says pour all, in caps all. The little beads in here and it says it's okay if it creates a little mound on the top, that's okay. I feel like I'm pouring cereal. I'm trying to hold this in the center so that it, you know, it is in the center, is in the center. Pack them in, it says pack them in. Give them a squish. Squish. Oh no. We should have like a little stamping tool, you know? Just like something that like squish them in a bit. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh no. It's full. It keeps sticking to me though. Make them dense, pack them in. Urgh. Ugh. Okay, I think that's a little better. And then it says to trim it one eighth an inch above the beads. Okay. Let's light it. Ta -da! We will check in with this guy, see how he's doing. There he is, cute. But I'll try and do like an up close so we can like see what's actually happening here. So far, um, it is a little tricky and I would really love a little stamp thing to kind of smush it down as I go. I would love that. Also worth noting, just some more information. It is all 100% natural wax. They have no parabens, dyes, any petroleum waxes in it. And then the fragrances are non-toxic. So it's all about like sustainability and not having to reuse candle the holders over and over and over again. You just have the one, or maybe you have seven in your house, I don't know. But then you just buy the refills. I think that's like, it's, it's such a cool system. So while that's going, I have a dupe, and it's an Ugg slipper dupe from Amazon. Just arrived, so we're gonna look at it together and we're gonna see if it actually looks legit. So this is the Fireside by Deer Foam. Deer Foams, it's supposed to be like super comfortable. I got a size 10 and a half because I am tall. This is what they look like very similar to the Uggs. They feel really soft and like that same sort of nice texture on the outside. I'm gonna put them on though. So obviously that's important. Okay, let's try these on. These are my shoes that I normally wear in the house and they're New Balance and they're stupid expensive and I'm so angry how much I love them. Okay, let's put these on though. Ooh, they're very soft, very cushy. They are very, f I don't know how to say flat because I'm used to like, these things, but they're very flat, obviously, because there's like a big thick insole there. I'm just gonna shuffle just to make sure, you know, gotta make sure they're my size. Okay, I think they're my size. They're very comfy. Are they coming off my feet though? Hang on, we have to like, we have to disassemble this. Okay, there we go. 
Now we can properly walk in them. Oh dang, these are comfortable guys. Obviously I wouldn't be wearing them with um, socks, but I'm too lazy to take off my socks. But how cute are they? They are so cute and so comfy. Rejoice all slipper lovers, or if you know of anyone that is a slipper lover, these are absolutely amazing. Are they gonna replace my New Balance? No, because I'm constantly running after children. This is just more practical for me. However, I love them and they are very comfortable and I would recommend them. Okay, next up is a really interesting kids toy and this was more than $100. This was like $150, but it was really interesting. So we're gonna open it, we're gonna look at it and then I'm gonna give it to my kids and see if they like it. It's called the Yodo Player and it's basically like a big speaker and it plays all sorts of different um, books. It has like a fun little interactive screen on it. It can also be a nightlight. It can help you like give it a, like a time to rise, I think, element to it. You can do your own stories or greetings or everything. It does a bunch of different things and they have a bunch of different categories of of stories. So I got the My First Classics story collection because I thought my kids might find that interesting. So let's open her up. Okay, a little welcome card here. Ta -da. And then we have the little charging station, basically. YOLO app. YOLO. Not, not YOLO. You're gonna make me download the YOLO app, aren't you? Ugh. Another extra step. Oh my gosh, you need my Wi-Fi? Oh, I'm texting Chris. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi. Password. <laughs> Who knows their Wi-Fi password? I don't. Oh, turns out Christopher does. Good, 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 good. This is so much work. I just want you to sing stories to my children. It was ominous. I didn't like that. They do not make this easy. I had it backwards. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Okay, and then I can just take it out and then I can just put it back in if I need to. All right, well, I'm gonna see, cause uh, Connor is currently home. So I'll see what he thinks of this and then I'm gonna see what my kids think of it. But so far, it's just kind of a pain and I would rather just read stories to my children. But maybe, maybe I will be proven wrong. I don't know. Stay tuned, I'm not convinced though. All right, it is in the hands of Smalls. Channel update, still a giant, just a pool in the center. It does smell very nice in here though. It's very nice. All right, what else do I got in the 50 plus ring? Oh, this thing. Okay, who's ready to see like a hundred dollar eye mask? But it doesn't just, it, has, it does so much. Hold on. Am I mildly scared to try this? I'm glad you asked. Yes, I am. Because it, I just learned today. I thought it was just one, like a, an eye mask that has like heat and it's just gonna like, I don't know, just be nice and calming and what, but it like massages your eyes. Nice packaging, ooh ah. So this is an eye massager. That's what it says, it says eye massager. Not around the eye, eye. Oh my gosh, I have to charge it in the middle. I guess I can't do anything for a minute. I should have charged this before. I'm sorry, everyone. Stay tuned, we'll just let this be for a Couple of minutes. Okay, now there's a product that we need to we need to move ahead to future Rachel because she's gonna have this really cool sweater. The next day. Wait, Christopher just walked in, so this is like perfect. Christopher, do you wanna see? Look at my sweater. Oh, that's Isn't cute. cute? Yeah. Look at it. After my face. It's supposed to be like that. Will you see it? That's a picture of us from the cottage from not last year but the year before. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's cute, that's right? Nice. I like that. I like it a lot. It's cute. How's very, the sweater? Is it comfy? It's very comfy. It feels, comfy. it feels very comfy. I will say the inside, like the behind this, is a little bit scratchy. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, I wish I had sized up. Hold on, what size did I get? What does it say in the back? Medium. Medium, okay. It is, but like it also feels like at any moment it's gonna be too short, you know? Mm -hmm. This is my wingspan. <laughs> exactly. So I'll have to like keep the sleeves stretched out mm -hmm. so that they don't get too short. But like otherwise, it's it cute. fits. It's a fun idea. It's cute for like a gift for someone. You could yeah. like give like someone with like a little, I don't know, I really like it. Yeah, I got that for you. Yeah. You're so thoughtful. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I really like that. That's so cute. It is worth noting though. The back is a little bit scratchy. It is like floating away from the body. So it's like, it's fine. But like, that's so cute. That's such a cute idea. Okay. You know what? I've waited long enough. This is good, right? This will be fine. And it's going to be all charged and ready. So I'm going to turn it on, I guess. Please close your eyes. Relax and enjoy. 
That's mildly terrifying. Okay, well, ah! Oh, hold on. Oh my gosh, is it singing? It's got music and everything. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm not- I'm not ready yet. <laughs> what? Stronger pressure? No, 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 no! Oh, you know what? The heat, I don't like. The heat, it's like right on your eyeballs. I feel like I'm talking extra loud right now because I'm trying to talk over the sound, the music. But like it, it gives like pressure along the outside. I feel like if I had like a, a headache, this would actually be quite nice. Whoa, it's so bright out here. My eyeballs. Okay. Air pressure plus heat plus vibration. Vibration? Well, I guess I should try that. What is this thing? I don't feel any vibrations yet. Look! Oh my gosh, that scared me! Oh, that's weird. I feel like I'm at like a loud club and it's just vibrating my skull. No! Take it away! How do I turn you off? I don't know what to think of this thing. I'm just gonna plug you in and hope you turn off. Okay, I need to adjust the light. Hold on. Okay, so now that I have a better idea, it is kind of interesting. The pressure that it applies right here is like, it's so nice. If you have a headache when you like rub right here, like it feels like that and it's just like, like that's very nice. The heat was kind of weird to me in that it, the heat was like here, not on the, like the outside. So like pressure was all the way around, just like, like exactly where the bone is. Like it didn't go too far in, <laughs> which would have been terrifying. Vibration was weird. Didn't like that. Music, it was on and then it, and then it was off. So I don't, I don't know what to make of that. It just went away, but you can change the track. Apparently there are multiple tracks. So I'm gonna get, um, <laughs> Chris to try this. If I have to try it, everyone has to try it. I did like the massage though. The massage was really nice. <laughs> but now let's move on to the under $50 category. These are products and things that I thought were really interesting and unique. Some are quirky and some I just think would make a cool gift. So the first one is something that we actually are going to charge together. And that is a solar charger. And this one was really cool because I think that that's a great idea. But this one that I saw has a bunch of different elements to it as well. Like it can charge two devices. It has like overheating protection, overcharging protection. And it's, again, you just sit it out in the sun and then it'll like fill up the battery thing. You don't have to like go and, you know, plug it in and wait for it to charge. No, just sunlight in general and it will be charged. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna sit it in a little patch of sun and just see how long it takes to fully charge up the thing. And then we're gonna charge it on my phone. It works for iPhone as well as Android, which is also important because I have an Android. I know. You know when you just, you start with Android and then you just, you just can't switch. I, I, I don't know. Let us unbox her. Ah. Here she is everyone. Ooh, ah. So it has an LED screen at the bottom. So it tells you how much it, like what capacity it's at. So right now it's at like 25 to 50%. So we're gonna go stick it in the sun and uh, let it fully charge. I guess the question is, how do you know if it's charging or not? It's blinking. So I'm guessing that it is charging. So we'll see you in a minute. One hour later. Okay, this thing hasn't moved at all from the bars that it was at. So I'm gonna bring this downstairs and see if that makes any sort of a difference. Okay, I put it in the sun, so hopefully it charges now. All right, um, I have been fiddling with this for a while and I cannot figure out why it's not charging. I have put this outside, outside in two different locations in direct sunlight and I can't get it past these two bars. It shouldn't be this difficult. This is just a battery. So unless someone has some advice on how to use this, I think this is a bust, unfortunately, because it's such a cool idea. The next product is actually something that my sister-in-law talked to me about and she said, you need to include this because it was so cool. So she bought one from her daughter who's one now for her husband. So it's like a personalized book. It's by the brand Wonderbly and they do all these different really cool customized books. So I want to get ones for my kids that are all like the, um, like the Where's Waldo, but you have to find them. And you can do up to three kids in each one. They have different adventures and different like versions of the book too, if you wanted one for each kid but like I think it's so cute and creative and customizable. You could do them for grandma and grandpa. You could do them just for the kids themselves. And I just think that that would be such a, a 
fun gift to give. The book quality is great. The price point is like, it feels reasonable for something that's customizable. And just again, a really cute idea for a company and for a present. Next up is something that I got off of Etsy. And I think this is so cool. I saw someone talk about it on TikTok and it's like this cocktail mix-ins kit. If you have someone in your life that enjoys making cocktails or is trying to like improve their skills in that particular area, this might be a fun present to give. And obviously we're gonna have to go and make some cocktails. So this is the company here, three quarter ounce, and they have handcrafted syrups for cocktail enthusiasts. So we're gonna go downstairs to the kitchen and make something with these. Ooh, Christopher, you are busy in here. Chicken stock, so much chicken stock. Okay, thought maybe we could um, try some cocktails. Are you down? I'm in. Hold on, we need to open this first. So it shows pouring it, pouring alcohol, pouring mix, and then drops, and then stir, full system. Okay, so we have, yeah, apple teeny, spicy fermented apple mixer, smash, which is mint basil tonic, and then kimchi Caesar mix, and then bitters. It has um, some examples of different, uh, I guess, cocktails that you can make with it. Which one are you excited about, Christopher? This one, mint basil smash tonic. Okay. In a glass with ice cubes, add one ounce of smash mixer with one and a half ounces of clear spirit, some gin, top with sparkling water, and finish with two dashes of forest bitter. I could see that being like a cool take on a G&T. All right, let's make it. I do want to try this though too. Can we make one of each? Yeah, sure. Okay. Also gin, unless you want Tequila, you... it says you could do tequila with this. Sure? It says tequila. Pair with vodka, gin, sparkling wine, or tequila. And then it also gives non-alcoholic options as well, like lemonade, coconut water, fizzy water, things like that. All right, let's get the ingredients together here. <laughs> to chill the glass. We're ready. Rum for the smash and then gin for the appletini. It's gonna be so good, everyone. So good. Here we go. Okay, we got this. I really just came downstairs so that Christopher would make me cocktails. <laughs> so we need one ounce of the mix, one and a half ounces of rum, cake. And then bitters. Bitters, go ahead, two dashes. Two, two dashes? Yep. I'm so scared this is gonna come out aggressively. One, two. But it's like all on the ice cube. The color is not my favorite. I don't love the color of this. Yeah, I might serve this in like a Moscow mule glass or something like that. Yeah. This doesn't need a clear glass. Nope. It smells very fresh. Hold on, I need to taste test. Yeah, that's great. It's got the, the citrusiness. It's got a little hint of forest and a little hint of mint. Very complements the rum well. Very refreshing though. I do yeah. like that, yeah. I prefer that to a mojito. It's okay. got that hint of mint, but I like the basil in it. Mm -hmm. It's balanced. That's honestly a really nice cocktail. Good cocktail. Absolutely. Okay, let's try mm -hmm. the apple teeny one now. I'm gonna take this up to my desk. It's a fun way to film videos. <laughs> this has been chilling. We add in the bitters. Does it, did it, it's called for bitters, right? Yeah, two dashes, okay. I think, right? Yeah, I think so. That was like three. It's fine though. You need to stir it though, if it's just, just kind of floating up top. I didn't say so, but it can't hurt. All right, you taste test first this time. Not a fan. I don't mind it, but I'm not sure about that particular gin with apple. No, that's a bad combination. Yeah. However, you can taste the apple notes and the apple notes are nice. They're fresh, they're bright. They don't taste artificial in any way. Yeah, that's just fighting with that gin. Yeah, but the the cocktail syrups themselves, like I think this was a really nice kit. It was really thought out well. It's well executed and it's a neat idea and having the bitters there, like this is made by someone who knows cocktails much better than I do, obviously. The pairings are thoughtful and I might, if I were them, drill down a little more on like, don't use gin for this one. Like, like be, you know, I, I get they're leaving room for creativity, but you know, tell us what's gonna taste best. Yeah, however, I think that it's it's really cool and they have tons of other ones on their website. It's shipped here really fast too. I really liked it, 10 out of 10. It's a cool kit. It's a cool kit. Actually, Christopher, I have one more thing I need you to try, to try for me. It's an eye mask. VR? It's, yeah, it's VR. Do you feel soothed and relaxed? I don't immediately hate it. The it's actually nice, nice on my eyes. Yeah, the pressure is nice. The heat, do you feel the heat yet? Mm -hmm. It's like right on the eyeballs. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay, wait, I want to see. Does this change it? Strong pressure. 
Oh no, I'm sorry, I don't Strong want that. Pressure. Okay, tell me what you think of the vibration. I hate it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, air pressure plus heat, I like. This is nice. It feels nice because they get it you know, like right on the sides the temples. There. Yeah. It's perfect, yeah. Yeah, I could do this. Absolutely. You know what I don't like? What? The music. Yeah, I think you can turn off the music. Yeah, I'm not interested in the music. I would put earbuds in, listen to a podcast, and just do this. 100% I would do this. 8.01 p.m. So you would you would recommend this? Uh, let me use it a bit before I give it a recommendation. People need to spend their hard-earned money on this. It's on been, my reco, but it's, like it's a gift for others. And now this yeah, was, it's a cool gift. Right now, it's on sale on Amazon for about eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Oh, that's so tight. Like boy, at like fifty bucks, I'd be like, run out and get this. This is a great gift. Super fun. One hundred and fifty, I'd be like, no way, don't. Don't waste your money. 80 is a good price. I might get this at 80. Honestly, I could see using this. I'll put some information in the in the comments as we continue to use it. I kind of like it. It scared me a little. The vibration I hate, so. I don't like the vibration. No. You shouldn't have done that. No. But the heat is really nice. You look like a really relaxed X-Men. What's his name? What's I'm his like... name? I forgot his name. What was his name? Chill Cyclops. Use your powers for good. Bye. If you, if you could bring me one of those cocktails, I'll be all right. <laughs> Next one I feel like is a good gift for someone that might be hard to buy for. So for me, when I saw this, I was I immediately thought of my brother-in-law, Joshua, and I can see him having so much fun with this. Not that Joshua is difficult to buy for, but it just, I saw it and it just immediately, immediately thought of him. And it's a top 100 movies scratch off poster. So basically you hang this up and then you go through and you can scratch off the ones that you've already seen. And then you have this full list of the top 100, according to this brand anyway, movies, and you can find other ones that you might be interested in watching and you can continue to like scratch them off as you go. It's a fun challenge. They looked really cool too. So I wanna see what it looks like in person. So it comes with like paper so that you don't <laughs> accidentally scratch anything off. Here is the poster. It's got a ton on here. The Dark Knight, The Godfather, Pulp Fiction. We got Inception on here. I am not a movie person. So I'm gonna guess I've seen like three of these. Toy Story, oh, there's another one I know. And then you go through and you scratch them off. The pictures look beautiful on the actual thing. So I'm gonna scratch one off. I'm sorry, Joshua, you are getting this for Christmas, but I have to test this. He'll understand, it's fine. <laughs> Let's do Lord of the Rings. That's one that like I have seen, Chris has seen, and I kind of wanna see what the picture looks like. It says you can use a coin, but I'm just using the size of this makeup thing. So first thing I will say is that you can see where you've been like scratching it off. So just worth noting, can you see that? Like with the light reflection, you can see how you've, you've scratched it off. And maybe that adds to the charm of it, but I kind of want to make sure that it's like fully scratched off. Like it's annoying me that it's not fully scratched off. Uh, Christopher, can you tell what that is? Oh yeah, even from back there. Even from back there, you could tell? Can I? Be pedantic? Absolutely. That's three movies. Maybe it's the first one. I don't know. Maybe the other ones are on here. This one is called The Fellowship of the Ring. Okay, well, honestly, that's fair. Candle update. It smells very nice. I'm waiting until it finishes like the first full layer and it's not there yet, which I guess is good. You don't want it burning out too quickly. But now I want to go into the products under $25. So there are a couple in this category that I thought were really cool. Number one, to me, this screams stocking stuffer. Like this, I, I just, I'm very genuinely curious if this works. And it's one of those nail polish holders that you put on your like, like on your hand. This one came in like a bunch of fun colors. So you could get one package and then stick them in a whole bunch of people's stockings, which is kind of cool. And it actually works out perfectly because this nail has been driving me insane. I'm gonna put it here on this hand. I'm gonna stick my nail polish in it. This is, I'm wearing Central Perk by um, Lights Lacquer. It's a really pretty shade, very Christmassy. Stick it in there, is it gonna stay? All right, but it does not, oh, it does kind of. It's gonna say it does not hold while I'm trying to uh, like open it. Okay, let's see, doing a really terrible job, but we're gonna pretend it's like so good. How do I get the thumb no? Hmm. That one's a little bit precarious, but like it does work. I would be really scared that this would just spill everywhere. See what I mean? Like I'm trying to open it 
I have to hold it still. Does it hold it still while you're painting your nails? Yes, it does. Is it like a cute gift? Yes, it is very annoying that it keeps spinning though. It's fine, it's not my favorite. But the thing that it's on, I think is a very cool idea. And again, just something that sparks a lot of creativity. My kids like to draw and I thought this was like a cool idea, 500 drawing prompts. And basically it's supposed to go through and you just draw whatever it's a lollipop, octopus, mannequin, hot dog, barbed wire, hot sauce. You just find random things and you practice your skill. A lawn chair, like there's just like some really interesting and unique ones, a bank robber. Like I'm just coming across a bunch of whole like different ones, but the quality of the paper is really nice. Like it feels nice and thick. So I figured I would bring this downstairs and just let them go ham at it and see what they think. I can see this if I was someone who liked drawing or was trying to get better at drawing, I think this would be a good place to start because sometimes it's just coming up with the inspiration or what you're gonna draw that stops me from drawing. So if I just open this up and was like, harvest, pond, night, I have to draw one of those things and it forces me to like, think outside the box a little. And now onto a product that I can't find because I actually gifted it to my daughter last year and she's been using it and I don't know where it is. So I do want to talk about it though. It is a personalized bookmark. There are these resin ones and they have this beautiful, like almost like a watercolory look to them. They had um, some gold imprint on it and it has her name on it. And she uses it for whatever book she's reading at the moment. It was a really good quality. She really enjoyed it. She takes really good care of it and she really likes it. And it's again, one of those like nice personalized gifts. It's not too expensive. And oftentimes these are smaller businesses. So you're supporting a smaller business as well. And I think that they're like a really fun gift for a book reader. As soon as I find it though, I will let you all know. And then, okay, this, I saw it. I was like, this looks so cool. I don't know how practical it is, but I kind of want to try it. And it's this um, charging cable that's for like iPhone, iPad, that whole family of products. So I'm going to try it with my iPad and it lights up like the cord lights up. Is this good to, for charging in your room? No. No, it's not. Is it good if you're charging like a different device in a different room and then you need to find it? Yes, it is. Is it fun? Absolutely. I wanna know how bright it is. So it does need like a little piece to plug in the wall, but we're just gonna charge it on my laptop here. Oh, <gasps> it's blue. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? Hold on. I need to turn off my light so you can see this properly. Can you see that? Tell me that's not cool. Oh, you can barely see me. The power of light. I don't know why, but I find that very soothing. I really like it. Okay, that's that's really cool. I would just stare at that all day. I can't stop staring at it. And is it charging my device? Yes, it is. So that's good, it works. All right, update on this um, charging thing. While it is cool and it does, <laughs> you know, entertain my children endlessly, it isn't as bright closer to the phone or device as it is away from it. And I don't know why, I don't know if I just got a faulty one or something, but um, it doesn't change as the phone or whatever gets more charged. So I guess that's, that's kind of a bust. That's unfortunate. I wish it was all like that. So yeah, maybe not the best buy. <laughs> Update on the candle. It is tunneling hardcore. Now I just relit this. I'm gonna put um, some aluminum around the outside that'll help it to melt fully. But up until that point, like it, this had all been just the first melt, which I know is really important. I, I don't know if I mounded it weird or incorrectly, or I don't know if you have any recommendations, any, uh, any tips would be much appreciated. My nine-year-old said it looked very pretty though. So, you know, there's <laughs> there's that. I have one more I totally forgot. This is a diamond dazzle stick. And I have had some recommendations to include this because this is a great stocking stuffer. And it's basically gonna make your jewelry like super shiny. So I figured we could try it because my <laughs> my rings are probably coated in all sorts of uh, hand cream. Basically you take it like that and then there's supposed to be some blue stuff. Twist until you see blue. Where is the blue? Ah, so much blue. Okay, thoroughly brush your ring and setting. The brush is quite stiff, just worth noting. Na, 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 na. I like that you can get into like all the little nooks and crannies too. That's kind of nice. And it says to rinse and pat dry and clean off the brush tip. So hang on. Okay, 
I'm back. She is looking sparkly. Okay, well that was easy. I like that a lot. Thumbs up for me, I really like it. <laughs> Honestly, there were a lot of products here that were really unique and interesting and different. I didn't really vibe with all of them and I think some of them are just not worth it to me, but I think that there were some fun ideas here. So I hope you guys got some ideas. If you did, go and check out the links down below. You can go and check them out for yourself. And if there are any other products that you are getting or gifting someone for Christmas, leave them down below. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any and I will see you guys all in the next one.